Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how to use elastic IP address for your internet facing servers. I am in my EC2 dashboard and you can see here there is one production web server running and I have a public IP address assigned by Amazon. So if I put it in my browser, I will be able to access my web server's uh, content directly. But what happens is if I go ahead and stop my server and restart it, this IP address will change and I will not be able to access the content of my servers after that point. So any end user trying to reach my server using this IP address will not be directed to my server. So to overcome this problem, Amazon gives something called as an elastic IP and this IP address will not change when you reboot the server. So whenever you are rebooting the server, your IP address can be reattached to the same server and then your end users will be directed to the same server as well. So this way, you don't have to worry about IP address getting changed when you're rebooting the server or getting reassigned. And you can, for some instance, if the underlying hardware fails, you can start the server in some other hypervisor and reattach the same elastic IP address to the new server as well. So this way, your entry point for your website is always the same and end users will be, uh, not be impacted from any changes that is happening on your host infrastructure. So I'm just waiting for my instance to uh, go into a stopped state where we will see the IP address change from the one that is shown here. So it is in stopped state. I'm just going to go ahead and start it now and we will see the IP address into change into a new one. As you can see here, I rebooted my server and I have got a new IP address. And if I go ahead and try to refresh my browser with the old IP address, it will not work. It will most probably give me a page cannot be displayed or connection timed out. Whereas if I access it with my new IP address, it will be working fine. I just refreshed my window and you can see here it is working fine. So the old one is still trying to connect. So to avoid these kind of scenarios, what we can do is we can go ahead and create an elastic IP. Just go to elastic IP on the left hand side, click on allocate new address. And once we complete the allocation, we will be able to attach it to any server we want. So we have an elastic IP here, 13.12.126.18.9. I'm going to associate it with my server. So if you have the name of the instance, you can easily type it. Or if you have an instance running, Amazon will automatically pick it and show it for you. So that's all you have to do. Click on the instance name and click on associate. And that's it. If you go back to your instances, you will find your elastic IP address in name of the public IP address. You can see here 13.12618. So I'm just going to put it into another browser window. And there you go. You see here, I am able to access a server. So if for some reason you are going to reboot it, I'm just going to show it to you. Click on uh, stop. And it's going to take a minute for a shutdown. Let me wait for it. So my server has stopped now, but you can see here my elastic IP is still assigned to the server and then it is not going to change even if it comes back online. So that's what I'm talking about. When you are changing your instance uh, or rebooting your instance, you don't have to worry about IP address changes any longer because Elastic IP is there to cover you and your end users will not know that there is a, a underlying hardware instance has changed or something has gone wrong in your end. So it helps you to mask failures on the back end while your end users are consuming your business applications without any impact. So I just started my server and it is still in running state. And if I go ahead and just put the IP address on my browser window, it should work by default. So there you go, folks. That is how you use Elastic IP address to mask failures. Happy learning to you and happy watching my channel. Thank you.